kids. Ready? I'm ready. Is everybody ready? I should say ready, set, go. Today we are going to talk about some insects. Insects start with letter I. There's capital I and lowercase i. There are some things that start with letter I. Can you see this giant insect? Do you know what kind of an insect that is? That's an ant, correct. Oh, do you know what this is? Igloo. I, I, igloo. What sound does I make? I, I, igloo. I, I, insect. But it's red. That means it's a vowel, so it has more than one sound. Do you know what the other sound is? What is this? Ice cream. I, I, ice cream. It's making, it's making the sound of its name. Letter I. Ice cream. That's kind of cool, isn't it? And its other sound is igloo, insect. So it's an i, i sound. You know what? Let's see where letter I is in our alphabet. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Can you do it backwards? Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, now I know my Z, Y, X's. It is time for your guesses. I want you to think for a minute. Can you guess another word that starts with letter I? We have I, I, insect, I, I, igloo, or I, I, ice cream. What is another word that starts with letter I? Can you think of one? Think for a minute. I have one. Ice. Do you ever put ice in your drinks? Ice. Did you think of one? Good job. You know what? A tricky part about the alphabet is learning what letters, what their sounds are, and words that start with them. So that is really, really good. Okay. Let's look right here at this insect. Let's look carefully at it for a minute. In fact, do you know what we're gonna do for just a minute? We're gonna take our letters and we're gonna put them on a writing road because we need to practice writing our letters, don't we? So let's put a capital I and a lowercase i and we're gonna practice writing them. Get a marker. Let's see if we can practice writing the alphabet. Let's write this letter I. A capital I starts at the top of the writing road and goes all the way down. And then it has a little line on the top and on the bottom. Lowercase starts in the middle of the writing road and goes down to the bottom. And then it has a little dot. Capital and lowercase. I'm going to do one more. From the top all the way to the bottom. Then little tiny across, little tiny across. And then another lowercase just from the middle to the bottom and a dot. And then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take our insect. I have this giant insect. We're gonna look at this insect for just a moment. It has three parts. It has a head. It has a thorax. This middle piece is called the thorax and the end is called the abdomen. So it has three body parts. And guess how many legs an insect has? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six legs. And two little tiny antennas on its head. Now, sometimes an insect also has wings. Let's try drawing one of these. Can you look at that right there? There is an ant. I'm gonna take this ant insect 
And I'm going to put it right here so you can look at it if you want to. And I'm going to draw a head. Can you draw a head? And I'm going to draw a thorax. That's another piece. And then I'm going to draw an abdomen. Now, every single bug or insect, these are not always the same size. And that's totally okay. So that means you can draw those three circles any way you want. They're kind of like ovals, aren't they? Kind of circles, kind of ovals. They're kind of in between. We got to give it two little antennas. Can you give it two little antennas right there? And I think we need to give it some eyes. And I always like my insects to smile. If you don't want to do a smile, you don't have to. Now we got to count its legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we have an insect because it has six legs and it has three body parts and two little tiny antennas. Those are kind of like little feelers. So it can see or feel in the air if there's other animals or bugs by it. That helps protect them. Did you get your insect on there? Three body parts and six legs. You know what? Let's look at a picture of a real insect and see if it has six legs. Let's look right here. Let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you know what kind? Oh, look, and there's his two little antennas. Do you know what kind of a bug this is? This guy is called a click beetle. Now, click beetles, when they flip over, they make a clicking sound. Hmm. Let's see if we can find some things about other insects. Shall we try that? Let's look at this one. Do you know what this guy is? This is a ladybug. You're right. And this insect flies with four wings. Now, a lot of insects, these wings right here are a hard shell, and that's what we see on a ladybug. Underneath are soft wings, and that's what they fly with. They look kind of like the wings on a fly, and these outside wings protect them so that they don't get bent or broken, so it's easier for the insect to fly. So that's what that insect does. Oh, let's see how this insect moves. Do you know what kind of an insect that is? A grasshopper, that's right. It can hop really high. Is that how this insect moves? Now, he also has some wings. Can you see his wings? But usually grasshoppers hop instead of flying. All right, oh, now this insect does not have any wings. Do you know what kind of an insect that is? It's called a walking stick. This insect walks and climbs with its very long legs. Can you see how long those legs are? He has very long legs. All right, let's try this um, water strider. It's an insect and it is on top of water. Can you see its legs just resting right there in the water? He can walk very carefully on water, very easily all over the place because he is a water strider. And what he does is walk on water. Wouldn't that be a fun thing to be as an insect that can walk on water? Okay, what kind of an insect is that? A praying mantis. Praying mantis is an insect that can turn its head. Most insects can't really turn their heads. They kind of turn their whole body, but a praying mantis can turn his head. Are those kind of cool insects? So you know what? We're gonna look right here at an ant. This is an ant. Let's count this ant's legs. It's got three on this side and three on the other side. One, two, three. Now, you know what? We can't really see his legs because they're on the other side. How many body parts? It's got a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Can you see that ant? You know what? We're gonna make some ants today. Does that sound kind of fun to do? Now, let's see if we can do a sheet with a whole bunch of insects. We're gonna count them and see if you can count the numbers as well as the bugs over here or the insects. So let's count how many we have here. 
One, two, three. Oh, we've got some numbers right here. Do you know what those numbers are? Let's look really, really carefully at the numbers. And first of all, let's count how many butterflies there are. One, two, three. So let's look right here. Is it gonna match the one? Nope. What's this number? Two, nope. Eight, nope. Three, you're right. So we need to match these butterflies right down here with number three. So you know what? I'm gonna get my marker. You can help me. Let's start at the butterflies and go all the way down to number three. Did I do that right? Awesome. Okay, now let's count. Oh, look, these are some grasshoppers. Let's count them. One, two. Are they going to go right here? No, that's a seven. We already did the three. Not an eight. Right, there's a two. Can you see that two? So we've got to match the grasshoppers and number two. Good job. All right, let's count the next ones. Oh, look at that. It's a walking stick. Can you see how long his legs are? How many walking sticks are there? One, that's right. Which number does it go to? The one on the top, this number one. So we're gonna go from the walking stick all the way up to number one. Did we get that right? Good job, one walking stick. Oh, look, there's a whole lot right here of these little flies. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it gonna be this number or this number? Right, it's this number seven. We're gonna go from this dot down to the number seven. We have one left. Now this, what number does it say? Eight. Do you think there's eight ants? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, do you think they match? I think you're right. We're going to go from eight right up here to number eight. One walking stick, two grasshoppers, eight ants, three butterflies, and seven flies. Nice job. Now let's look right down here at the bottom. Let's see what it tells us to do. How many legs does an insect have? Oh, how many legs? We've talked about it. Do you know? Is it three or four or six? If you said six, you're right. Let's count and make sure they drew the picture right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's circle the six. There's our six all circled because insects have six legs, don't they? Good job. You're really, really smart at this. Okay, let's see if we can find a letter I. Look on there very carefully. Can you find a letter I on that page? Hmm. What color is it? It's orange. Right there. There's a capital letter I. Do you think you can find a lowercase I? All right, look really carefully. Can you find a lowercase I? What color is it? Red. Very nice. Right down there on the bottom. Oh, you're so good at that. Should we see what we need to do for letter I? Help me with these letters. Let's Tell me to stop when we get to letter I, but help me say them. Y, O, H, Z, L, K, N, V, U, A, I'm sure it's in here, E, B, C, R, M, I, we found it. Oh my goodness, do you know another I word? Itch, oh, itch, itch, itch. Oh, it's incredibly itchy, itch, itch. Oh, oh, are you itching everywhere? Oh, good job. 
All right. You know what? I think you're really good with letter I. You knew exactly how to find letter I, didn't you? And you know what? You did a good job drawing your letter I and making an insect. You can make any kind of an insect you want because you are really good at that. I love being with you. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. You're awesome, possum. See you soon.